hello my people and welcome to my health channel today i'm going to talk about typhoid typhoid fever typhoid is a global public health concern and continues to pose a serious threat challenge in developing countries it is endemic in countries where there is inadequate sanitation it is spread by consuming food and water contaminated with stool and urine of an infected person it's a serious health threat in the developing world. It continues to be a public health concern and is noted to cause 200,000 deaths globally each year. It is rare in developed countries. It continues to pose a serious health challenge in Africa where there is antibiotic resistance. The reason why it remains a major issue is because of the factors such as increased urbanization, inadequate facilities for processing human waste, the healthcare system is overburdened, overuse of antibiotics, which, are, which has led to the development and spread of antibiotic resistant salmonella typhi. The disease typhoid has been reported in countries like India, Africa, South Asia, Middle East, Central Africa, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and many, many other countries. So, bacteria, um, typhoid is a bacterial infection that spreads through contaminated food and water. It's a life-threatening illness caused by bacterium salmonella typhi. It's related to the bacteria that causes salmonella poisoning. It's a fecal oral transmissible disease. It can take up to one to three weeks after being infected to develop symptoms. It can spread throughout the body and it's, it can cause serious complications and can be fatal. It's highly contagious. An infected person can pass the bacteria out of their body into their poo, which is feces, or into their urine. If someone eats food and water that has been contaminated with a small amount of infected feces or urine, they can become infected with the bacteria and develop the symptoms. Some people can become carriers of typhoid and shed the bacteria in their feces for years after they, have, they were first infected. Um, there are so many symptoms of typhoid fever. Um, the cough, there is persistent high temperature, the kind of temperature that gradually increases each day. Then you have the general fatigue, um, um, extreme tiredness, general aches and pains, loss of appetite, rash, can develop dehydration from diarrhea. So please do drink plenty of water and beverage with electrolytes if you are dehydrated. It is important to note that as the infection progresses, you may lose your appetite feel sick, have tummy ache and diarrhea. We know that there are cases of people who have developed rash. If your condition has worsened, please go to the hospital where the doctors may give you intravenous hydration through the vein. Okay, now what are the treatments for typhoid? The only effective treatment is an antibiotic therapy for typhoid fever. Doctors treat typhoid with antibiotics. In some countries, strains for typhoid have become resistant to most antibiotics. Okay. Um, complications are side effects of the of typhoid fever. The main risk of typhoid is not receiving um, medical treatment. One out of five people who don't get treatment for typhoid fever die. If the treatment is delayed, it can pose a risk of complications. One is intestinal bleeding, which can which usually um, develops in the third week. Um, and when this happens, it can lead to intestinal um, perforation, where you develop a hole in your intestines and the contents may leak into the stomach and can cause stomach pain and nausea. Then you have the kidney failure, the peritonitis, inflammation of the heart muscle, infection of major um, blood vessels, inflammation of the pancreas, kidney and bladder infections. Please do seek medical advice. Um, if you develop any of these symptoms, okay, especially if you've had typhoid. Okay, now we're going to look at um, prevention. What do we do to prevent getting typhoid? Wash your hands frequently in hot soapy water before eating or preparing food, as well as after using the toilet. Avoid drinking contaminated water by ensuring water is bottled or boiled. Avoid ordering um, drinks with ice unless you know the ice is made from boiled or bottled water. Okay, um, drink safe water, improve sanitation, get adequate medical care because it can help prevent and control typhoid fever. Unfortunately, this may be difficult to achieve in developing countries. 
vaccines may be the best way to control typhoid. Um, a vaccine is recommended if you're coming, if you're going into an area which is endemic from a developed country. Okay, so if you're come, if you're traveling in, don't take it. Please, please like my video, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something from this. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.